morning, Terry. How are you? I'm doing great, John. Thanks. How are you? Just fine. Terry, you are the president of Build, and you are the owner of Terry Schulting Agency at in Lewis. That's correct. I noticed that you have an offering that, that I think will be pretty appropriate, and I just want to ask you a little bit about identity theft. First of all, what is identity theft? Identity theft is it's a fraudulent use and acquisition of a person's private information. Why would somebody be motivated to commit that crime? So that they can use your, your credit for their own gain. When did you first learn about this crime? I've heard about it. Maybe she had their identity stolen. Um, I've actually experienced it myself. Really? Seen customers also. Known anyone who's actually ever been a victim of this crime, and apparently you have. I have. I've had actually two incidents. Um, at one time, there was my credit card was used for purchases in Florida. Your personal credit card? Yes. Okay. I had I had not even been in Florida. Really? Is this a growing problem? It seems to be, and I think just with internet access, just more people online. Is such a thing possible even in a small town like Louisville? Oh, most definitely. Yes, it's possible everywhere. Okay. When such a thing happens, is is it typically when somebody's shopping online? Or, or what normally is the circumstances when this crime is committed? Well, the, the two incidents that were of my own were actually not too long after I had shopped online my credit card for purchase myself. I see. So, again, yes, it can happen to anybody anywhere, I, I believe. Uh, why is this of a special concern during tax season? Well, during tax season, there's a lot of filing, a lot of information going through the Internet and through the mail. Mm-hmm. And it's more of an increased rate than than normal times throughout the year. And so tax season would be one of the more lucrative times that criminals might want to try to get in and steal some social security numbers, some address information, or bank account information. Um, so how can a person protect themselves? Uh, the best way that they can protect themselves is by monitoring their account on a regular basis and be sure to shred and, and protect your confidential information. Don't click on suspicious emails. You know, those are just a few of the ways that you can kind of help protect yourself and maybe avoid having that happen to you. Can I buy insurance to protect myself? You can actually protect yourself against the costs that are related to restoring your identity and mm-hmm. your good name. We have insurance that are available to add on to your homeowner's insurance policy and that endorsement will help to cover both and you have to you know, go in and defend yourself, so those legal get pretty costly. There's also loan reapplication fees, uh, expenses for notaries, and also lost wages due to time taken off of work to restore your credit. It can be a timely and cost process. Okay, so how can somebody learn more about this threat? The best way is to just stay informed by reading articles. There's a lot of websites provide information online about identity theft and fraud. Learn what thieves are actually doing to try to steal your personal information. Sure, okay. All right, well, listen, that's uh, extremely informative, and this particular time of year with tax season, it's, um, it, we probably need to pay more attention to than even normal. I would definitely agree with that, John. Well, Terry, thank you very much for spending a little time with me this morning. Well, thank you, John. You have a great day.